Hi guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me today. And today's craft is painting with Legos. And you're probably thinking, how are we going to paint with Legos? Well, I'm going to show you because Legos just aren't for building anymore. So hang tight and we'll do some real cool painting with Legos. All right, guys. So today we are going to paint with Legos. And then I have a surprise at the end of another item you can find at home that you can paint with as well. So I've got all my supplies here. I've got my washable paint because you want to use washable because you're going to use those Legos to build again later. So you need to make sure that paint comes off nice and easy. And once you're finished painting, you can soak them in a bowl of warm soapy water and that paint will come right off. You might have to get a little Q-tip to get in the nooks and crannies of the Legos, but it'll come off. So I've got some paper. You can use colored paper if you want to. I just got some plain white paper. I've got my paper plates. I've got one paper plate for paint and one paper plate for dipping the ex excess paint off my Legos, just to kind of test out my stamping. I've got my Legos, and I have picked the bigger Legos. You can try some smaller pieces just to see what designs you can create, because it's completely up to you how you want to do it. But the bigger ones are easier to handle and much easier to clean. So that's why I've chosen these. But it's whatever you have at home. I've got some paper towels for cleaning up my dirty hands or wiping off excess paint on the Legos. So we are going to get started. So I will show you how you can paint with Legos. So I've got just some basic colors of washable paint. I've got some yellow. I've got some green. I've got some red. I've got a little pink and a little brown. Just whatever you have on hand. And what I am going to do is I'm going to show you how I created my house. So let's get started. So I'm gonna take one of the smaller Legos and I'm just gonna kind of move it around in the paint. And you'll see it kind of gets on top there. So if you have excess, you can always move to your plate and stamp a little bit off, but you can try it. It's up to you, it's your own creation. And then I'm gonna to go to the bottom of my paper and I'm just gonna start stamping the walls of my house. And I'll show you what it looks like here. And it's your creation, so it's completely up to you as to what you want it to look like and what colors you want it to use. But that is the basics of painting the bottom part of my house. So it's just stamping, much like you would use a, a regular stamp and a regular ink pad. Now I'm going to do the roof of my house. So I'm going to get a little brown here. And the great thing about washable paint is it comes right off. So if I get it on my clothes, which I have a tendency to do, I can just go right back and get it right off, or these Legos. So now I'm just gonna do the roof of my house. And you can do your roof any old way you want to. You can add a chimney, you can add a door if you wanna do a house. You can do it any way you want to. There is absolutely no right or wrong way to do it. You can mix different colors. It is your creation, so it is completely up to you. So that is how I stamped out my roof of my house. Now, if you wanted to add a chimney, you could go back, do a little bit more stamping, and create a chimney outside the house or some smoke coming out of the chimney, whatever you want to do. If you wanted to add a little grass to the bottom, just like you did, just kind of stamp it out. It's real easy to do. There's, Like I said, there's no right or wrong way to do it. You can add more paint. You can go back over it and do different designs. It's completely up to you because it is your creation. And it depends on the size Legos you have. If you have more flat pieces, I'm going to do a sun up here. So I'm just going to kind of stamp over top of them. And then I'm going to get an edge of the stamp to make the rays of the sun. And I'm just going to kind of drag it out. Or... You saw an earlier video a few weeks ago of Miss Margie using forks to paint. You could go back and you could get a fork and you could make the rays of your sun. So you can use a couple of different techniques. It's completely up to you because it is your design and your creation. But that is my Lego house. Like I said, you can do it any way you want to. You can add flowers, you can add birds, you can do all different kinds of designs. And once you're finished, like I said, it's washable paint, so get you a bowl of warm soapy water, throw those Legos in there, let them sit for a while, and then you can rinse them off or, and, or take a damp rag and wipe them off. If there's some in the little nooks and crannies like you see here, you can go back in with a Q-tip or a little bit more of a heavier spray of water and get that off. Now, 
our bonus, besides our Lego painting, is we are going to paint with cookie cutters. Now, all of us probably have lots of different cookie cutters. I have a whole drawer full of these at home. Um, and a lot of times I have certain ones that I use all the time and then some that I never use. So I try to pick the ones that I never use because after you paint with them, you, pro you don't want to use them again for baking purposes but I have a lot of excess ones. And so I decided let's paint with some cookie cutters. So this is one I did earlier of my star cookie cutter and I just got some yellow paint, dipped it in there and went to town. And you can go back in and paint in the star if you want to, I kind of like it like this. But what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna grab this sheet of paper cause I took it away before I needed to. Cause I've got some more underneath here. I'm gonna set my Lego house to the side and I am going to paint with my apple. So I've got some red paint here, and I'm gonna dip that apple in the red paint. And you're just gonna kinda swoosh it around. Make sure you get all the little nooks and crannies. Cause with the apple in particular, there's all kinds of little nooks and crannies. And the fun thing about it is you can go back over it, you can redo it, you can do it any way you want. You can test it out. So here is my apple. And just like you would do with your Legos, you just stamp it down. If you have a lot of excess on it, you can always go back on your paper plate. That's why I've got the extra paper plates and get that excess off. So it's just as easy as that. And then you can go back in and fill in your apple. You can fill it all the way in with red. You can do a green apple. You can add a stem with your forks, like our fork painting. You can also create your own cards with these stamps. You can really do lots of different things just by painting with Legos and painting with cookie cutters. And all these things are things that you can find usually in your drawer at home. And like I said, pick your washable paint and once you're finished, get you some warm soapy water and soak them in a bowl. And that is it. You can now paint with Legos and paint with cookie cutters. So I hope you guys enjoyed painting with Legos today and our special bonus of painting with cookie cutters because you can do a lot more things with cookie cutters than cutting out fancy cookies. So we made our stars today out of our cookie cutters and we made our really cool house and some other designs out of our Legos. So I hope you enjoy painting with cookie cutters and painting with Legos. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.